The Ferrari Driver Academy has seen multiple graduates make their way to Formula 1, including Charles Leclerc and Mick Schumacher, with some Ferrari junior drivers moving categories for the new season, as well as some changing teams. Here's a rundown of what each of the members of the Ferrari Driver Academy will be doing in the 2023 season. Ollie Behrman Having impressed in his debut Formula 3 season in 2022, Ollie Behrman makes the step up to Formula 2 for the 2023 season. Behrman finished third in F3 in 2022, finishing two points away from taking second and only seven points off of taking the championship. In November 2022, it was announced that following his impressive F3 stint, Behrman would be moving up to F2 for the new season with Kramer, a team who will be looking to bounce back from a difficult 2022 F2 season in which they fell to fourth in the constructors, with drivers Jehan Daruvala and Dennis Hauger finishing seventh and tenth respectively. With Ferrari becoming less and less involved in the Alfa Romeo and Haas F1 teams, it's difficult to speculate about an F1 future for Behrman at this time. But with the Brit already looking comfortable in the car at the postseason tests in Abu Dhabi, we can look forward to him being one of the outside favourites in the battle for the 2023 Formula 2 crown. Arthur Leclerc Another Ferrari junior driver graduating from Formula 3 to Formula 2 for the 2023 season is Arthur Leclerc, and it's starting to look like a make or break season for the Monegasque. After failing to build on his rookie F3 season, Leclerc will still graduate into F2 for the new year, but he will be being directly compared against Behrman. Arthur achieved two podiums in the 2022 Formula 3 season, including his win in the feature race at Silverstone. After this, Leclerc went on to finish 6th overall in the championship, improving from 10th place the season before. If Arthur Leclerc is to go and make the step to Formula 1, he'll have to hit the ground running in 2023 as he steps up to Formula 2 with the Dams team. A solid first season in F2 could set him up for a title challenge in 2024, and could even be a head-to-head -head between himself and Behrman for a chance to reach the top. Dino Beganovic Following on from a dominant Freca campaign in 2022, Dino Beganovic steps up to make his Formula 3 debut with Prima in 2023. The Swede had a hugely impressive 2022 season, only finishing outside the points on two occasions while picking up four wins and 12 podiums. Beganovic did a solid job in postseason testing, but naturally it will be a challenge for him to adapt to the new series and find his consistency from 2022 again. If he can find both from the start of the season, the Swede will surely be a favourite for the title and possibly a direct promotion then to Formula 2 for 2024. Beganovic will have to race on tracks he won't have experience on, whereas other drivers on the grid will, which will put his adaptability to the test. Rafael Camaro the Brazilian is moving into his second season in single-seater racing, and it will be one where Kamara will be met with some real expectations. Kamara will be racing for Prima in Freca this season, and the team are favourites to take the title once again in 2023. Maia Wuch. The Spaniard will be making the jump from Italian F4, where she performed very well given the piece of machinery she was dealing with. Maya was the first female driver to join the Ferrari Driver Academy, but could find some difficulty moving up into the more powerful cars for the 2023 season. However, she'll be hopeful after being a fast learner in Italian F4. Maya definitely has the talent and speed required to make the step up, and will be aiming to be a consistent points finisher as well as being the main KIC motorsport car for her rivals to worry about. James Wharton Wharton is the only driver in the Ferrari Driver Academy to be staying in the same category as last season going into 2023, and has one simple objective for the new year, win the Italian F4 title. The Australian managed five podium finishes in the 2022 season, but was unable to take a race win, finishing the season fifth place in the standings. For the 2022 season, Wharton will have to show his full potential by challenging for race wins every race if he's hopeful to be in the fight for the title. The Australian will be starting his year in F4 UAE in the Middle East against two of his main rivals for the upcoming Italian F4 season, Hugo Chukwu and Lin Blad. Tuka Tarpanen Tuka Tarpanen is one of the two fresh faces joining the Ferrari Driver Academy in 2023, and as the winner of the FDA Scouting World Finals, he'll be racing in Italian F4 in this upcoming season. There are high expectations for the Finn as he impressed last season and looked really quick in postseason testing. His adaptability and raw talent could make him a dark horse for the title fight. Tarpanen is another driver starting 2023 in the F4 UAE series, and he'll be hoping to use the Winter Series to create momentum ahead of his first season as an FDA driver. 
Aurelian Nobels. The latest addition to the Ferrari Thriver Academy is Aurelia Nobels, who won the 2022 FIA Girls on Track Rising Stars program. She competed in the Brazilian F4 Championship last year, claiming three points finishes in 12 races before having set out the last two rounds of the season. As the Brazilian enters a new championship in 2023, it's going to be crucial for her to adapt quickly and learn as much as possible in what looks to be a year full of challenges. In an attempt to speed up this learning process, the Brazilian will be conducting pre-season testing to improve her understanding of the car and practice on the new tracks she will have to learn and race on this season. This is rather than competing in F4 UAE, like many of her fellow FBA drivers. Going into the 2023 season with an academy of eight drivers, all but one are moving into a new series. These graduations show that the Ferrari Driver Academy works efficiently to progress drivers through the feeder series ranks. Will this be the season we see another of these talented juniors graduate to Formula 1? Or will it be the end of the road for others? Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel for plenty more content throughout the 2023 season, including some of the biggest names in feeder series featuring on our podcast.